Okay guys, I'm going to tell you a wee muddler pattern. This is the wee fly here. I've had some good fish on this wee fly. Rainbows and wild browns. So I just want to show you how to put the wee fly together. So the hook and device is a size 10 standard heavyweight bat fly hook. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni 380 in black. So I'm just going to come in and start my thread off behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to stick down a bit of thread here and bring my thread down past the point of the hook and remove the waist tag of thread. Now the tail on the fly is about 10 strands or so of Glow Bright Floss number 8. So I'm just going to offer that over the back of the hook. Where am I pinching loop? And then just work your thread turns down just until your thread's in line with the barb of the hook. Or the barb of the hook. And then I'm going to come in and trim the excess about the length of the body and then I'm going to come in and trim the tail around about the length of the body or so. Now the rib on the fly is going to be the Ultra Wire in black by UTC. A wee length off here from the last fly that I tied. So I'm just going to offer this up to the hook. Much the same length as the cut ends of the glow bright floss. The body on the fly is going to be the holographic silver tinsel and large. This is from Vanyards. So I'm just going to take a length of that off. And offer this up. Now I want this, I'm going to try and keep everything level here at this stage. So just work your thread up, take your time. I'm going to try and keep a level body on the fly. Just because you're using the silver holographic tinsel. The fish won't mean, but you want to try and tie a nice neat fly. So just take your time. Up to there. Then we'll get our silver holographic tinsel. I'm going to get a nice clean turn going to the back of the hook. And then just overlapping turns of your silver holographic. Up the body to there, pull this around with your thread. A couple of nice tight turns in now to secure that all and come in and trim away the excess. The body haggle on the fly is going to be a chartreuse um, cock saddle haggle. So just kind of haggle off here, just removing the rubbish. Then all I do is just take away the fibres to burr the stem. Offer this up to the hook. Run with a couple of nice tight turns here. Then I'm going to come in and trim away the stem. And then I'm just going to palmer the, the haggle. Now, I like to get two turns going at the shoulder of the fly. And then three turns down the body. Just coming into the fourth turn now. Just hold the tip of the haggle. And then come around with your black wire and you're looking four or five turns of the black wire to rip the body up to there anything that's going forward just sweep it back bring the wire up in front follow this around with your thread get a couple of nice tight turns in here now and then you can bend and bring away the wire and you can break off your tip at the back now we're not looking too bad. Oh, we favour there. Now I'm going to put another haggle on. I'm going to use a, a, cheap, a, a cheap Indian hand cape dyed black. So just get a wee feather off here. Just going to stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. Offer this up to the hook. I'm going to come around with a few turns and then fold the tip back. Bring my thread back up over the tip and the haggle. Come in and locate the tip and bring it away. Now I'm just going to fold these back one turn in front of the other. I'll probably put on two turns just. will be enough for me. Yep, put one more in. Up 
of plenty there. I'm just going to fire this around with my thread. Get a couple of tight turns in. And then come in and trim away the excess. Anything that's going forward to the eye, just stroke it back. Bring your thread back up over. Now I'm going to put some flash in. I'm just going to use a couple of strands of the mirror flash. So I've got myself three strands here. Trim that away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to offer the th th first three parts of the strands up the my side of the hook. And then fold the longer three down your side. And just tie these in nice and tight. And just come in, pull all the flesh back. I just want to trim this slightly longer than the tail. Now, I'm going to put on a modeler head at this stage. And the colour of the hair that I'm going to use is a chartreuse. So I'm going to take off a nice clump of the deer hair. Trim this away. Just have to take out some of the under fur that may be in the wee patch just to help you stack it because I want to stack it. I'm just going to get my hair stagger tips first and it goes. Then I'll give this a wee rattle on my desk. All the tips have lined up for us so just take it out of the stagger. I'm going to create a wee collar, so I'm just going to offer this up to the hook, just hold it there, I'm going to come around with two loose turns and then allow the deer hair to spin. Now, at this stage keep your, still keep your thread tight, don't let your thread go, just come in and get all the deer hair back, just take your time. Nice tight turns here now, and at the front, still keeping your thread tight, just come in and throw in a whip finish, and then you can come in and trim away your tan thread, then just get my waist bin over, and then just bring all the deer hair out, because this is the fun part. I'm just going to use a pair of, this is just cheap, a pair of cheap curved scissors and I'm just going to start off slightly at the side here and then just work around, just taking a first pass at it and you can put in the shape that you like to see in your muddler heads. Some people like their heads really pronounced and other folk like it really thin. Now, I'm just going to come in just remove some of the excess deer hair and just take your time try not to cut away your collar. Any of the big ones just bring those out. and trim it away. Now they're good fun to tie these. Out of tan, wee muddler, tape head flies. It's a good skill to learn and fly tan, just sit and practice the rolling the deer hair. Just a wee bit there, just want to take that away. I, I'm happy enough with that. Just that one wee bit here. So now, get rid of this. Now, just to finish off, I'm just going to come in with some clear varnish. Just get it right in at the, right in at the eye, right the whole way right round. And then I've 
bit of waste wire on my desk. A little waste black wire here. Just poke it through the eye. Just make sure it's clean. And there you go, guys. That's just a wee muddler that I'll come up with. Good wee fly. I've been fishing it probably the last two or three seasons. I've had some good, really good wild brown trout on it. So look, just wanted to share it with you. Give the wee fly a go. Hopefully it can catch you a few fish. Um, if you like the wee videos I'm putting together, consider subscribing to my channel. It uh, helps the wee channel out. And until next time, take lanes.